If you want to submit an ice uh, measurement uh, to us, please do so. Measuring ice is a little tricky, okay? You need a ruler and you need your noggin and you need a little bit of math. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of these reeds here that has a lot of ice on it. I'm gonna rip it off because it's just a little reed. Oh, <laughs> that's deer, there was some deer poop underneath there as well. Thankfully it's frozen. Okay, so here's, here's how you measure ice, okay? Now, whenever you get ice accumulation, you get a little bit on one side and then a little bit on the other. Now, in this case, there's not a ton on the right, okay? But if there was, you would add the amount of ice to the right and the amount of ice to the left there. So I'm gonna measure the amount of ice to the left. That's about half an inch of ice to the left. And then you add the other side, which is honestly less than a 16th of an inch. So I'm just gonna divide that by two. So that's half an inch by two. That's a quarter of an inch of ice accumulation. I know it's a little tricky, but you add both sides and you divide it by two. That's the proper way to measure ice. Yesterday, when I was up uh, between Comfort and Fredericksburg, I put this on KSAT Connect. I measured an inch and a half of ice on one side of a fence. So that means it was about three quarters of an uh, inch of ice accumulation. Very impressive totals there. If you get those pictures, send them into our KSAT Connect feature on our weather app.